Maple by Lori Nichols. Maple loved her name. When she was still a whisper, her parents planted a tiny tree in her honor. And even though Flavia, Millie Jane, Lena, Lily, and Constance were all good names, Maple was the perfect fit. And as Maple grew, so did her tree. Sometimes when Maple was noisy, which was a lot, her parents sent her outside to play. Her tree didn't mind if she was loud. Maple would sing to her tree and sway for her tree and sometimes even pretend to be a tree. On some days when the wind was just right, Maple would simply lie under her tree and its leaves would dance just for her. One day, Maple noticed her tree was bare. Maple was worried her tree might get cold, so Maple took off her jacket and gave it to the tree to stay warm. Sometimes, Maple would she had someone else to play with. The tree wasn't very good at throwing snowballs, and she wondered if the tree felt the same way. So Maple introduced her tree to a friend. That friendship wouldn't last, but Maple and her tree still had each other through winter and spring. And then one day, something surprising happened. Then something really surprising happened. Maple became a big sister. Maple tried to be a good big sister. If the baby was cold, Maple gave the baby her hat and gloves. And if the baby was lonely, Maple would share her special friends. But Maple couldn't always make the baby happy. And when the baby was noisy, which was a lot, Maple would take her outside to play. And something magical happened. Maple's tree danced for them both. And there was just enough room under the tree for Maple and her little sister, Willow. And that is the end of Maple by Lori Nichols. Hope you all have a wonderful day.